What is up, Internet? Collier and Jelana from Fighting Wombat come to you again with another Harry Potter Reasoning Review. Am I saying it right? All right, hey, what's up? <laughs> But anyway, let's back. We're back for the Wizarding World in review. This week, we're doing we Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. See, this is why I do it, because I've already written all this stuff out, and I know what to say on it. <laughs> I, I, I tried to bring the hype. I, I could you, not. You, you, I am sorry. You did try, and I, I do appreciate you trying, but boy, it's okay, but it's okay. I'll just stick to, like, Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. Production budget of $150 million. Okay. And boy, let me tell you, it shows. Mm -hmm. Worldwide gross... Of eight hundred and ninety six point nine million, so they're starting to make more money now. Like the first, they were like first one most money, the second one they kind of didn't. They, they kept dipping and dipping. Now this one bringing it like, back up, whoop. bringing it back up. And you know what? I'm gonna give some credit to Prisoner Azkaban there. Probably getting some more people into it. Seeing like, oh, this is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was like you know because like how everyone probably saw like, oh, Prisoner Azkaban, it's a little bit more you know the first dramatic one, and mature. And also the first one was a PG thirteen rating. Things are getting a little bit more serious in this one. All the others have been PG up this point. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more adult this one, you can say. A little bit more adult, yeah. A runtime. Long. Of, of two hours. Of course. And 37 minutes. Let me tell you. <laughs> this one moves. It does. This one moves like Infinity War moves. Mm -hmm. Like, you can tell, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm the Yule Ball, I'm like, I don't know how much longer this movie is, and I can watch still more of it. I just want, <laughs> I want more of this fucking movie. It's great. Uh, they, they could do away with some stuff, but we'll, we'll get to that. Later. Mike Newell. Uh, yeah, so just general impression before we break down the plot and everything. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 spoiler for you. This one's always my favorite, and it's still my favorite. <laughs> it's still my number one. Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. I love Goblet of Fire. I love the book. I love this one. I, I do have some issues, but I will get to that a point in the pot recap. But I, I I love this movie. I never read the book, mm -hmm. but when I was watching Goblet of Fire, I was remembering some things that were supposed to be properly remembered mm -hmm. that I thought supposed to happen in Prisoner of Azkaban, but it actually belongs in here. Oh, like and that. I actually thought the it was in the, in the yeah, yeah. yeah spoilers. We we'll get to that later. Yeah. But I also thought that it was <laughs> they've seen the movie already. <laughs> oh, but I also thought you know, like the events that was happening here was go supposed to be tying to. They have blood prints or something. Mm. But, boy, no. Something happens a whole lot sooner than I expected for it to. And I thought it wasn't supposed to happen until, like, much later. But, boy, what? I'm happy that it happened. What? We'll get there. I mean, no, what was it? What, what are you talking about? Voldemort coming back? Yeah, they're, they're, they're legitimately... Oh, yeah, Voldemort comes, like, like, halfway through the series. <laughs> like, I thought he was supposed to come until, like, the half-blood prince oh, or no, that's, something. That's the set. That's half-blood uh, prince number six. Now nah, he comes back very early. <laughs> yeah. Well, not early, early, but, you know, he's back. And, like, and, like you know, like... Now you got, you got four more movies to do. You know what? Call me now. weird, but, like, I was actually... Happy and rooting for his resur resur blah, blah, blah. resurrection. Resurrection, yeah. I mean, because like, okay, they was like, oh yeah, if it, he who should not be named, he should be not named. <gasps> what a war! I'm just like, this guy is coming back. I just don't know when, but I hope he comes back fucking soon and just starts fucking wrecking shit. And then, oh, there he is. He, he's wrecking <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, try to, but still, like you know, his presence is now in the flesh in this movie, and I love it. Which means we're gonna see a whole lot more of noseless Squidward. Noseless Squidward. Oh, or like that thing from, what was it, Prometheus? Wait, oh, no, that thing has a nose. That's correct. Mm. But like, you know, handsome Noseless Squidward in this one. Alright. And there's you know, you're right, because, because like in the first one, he, he did have a nose. Yeah, and now I'm looking at him again, he's like, what happened to your nose? He had oh, one in the earlier movies. <laughs> I mean, that's how he's more described in the books, that he has no, like, he's more snake-like than human anymore. Like, that's why his eyes are like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so Mike Newell. Just a little uh, first one. He only received a million dollars to direct. Who? The, my, oh, the director? Yeah, director of the movie. Whereas Chris Columbus received $10 million plus percentage of the gross to direct Terry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So oh, Mike so Newell needs cheated. a new agent. <laughs> he needs someone who can negotiate these deals because, man, Chris Columbus got 10 times that earlier <laughs> plus percentage. <laughs> he got cheated. Yes, he did. Because, boy, he did a great job with this one. It deserves a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, I had some. I guess I cut some of the other uh, Easter eggs and things like that. But okay, man, let's just fucking go. And I'm tell you, I'm gonna be a little bit nervous about this one because, like I said, nervous. it's my favorite. So I don't want to screw up the recap. 
No, no, no. Just, just lay down just like, you know, the, so the facts and stuff and just your are... opinion about the movie. That's all. Your opinion is what matters. We're here. We're in a graveyard and there's a snake and it's slithering up past the Grim Reaper statue. Why is there a Grim Reaper statue in a graveyard? I don't know. That looks pretty fucking grim. But I digress. <laughs> we are going to the groundskeeper. He's making some tea. He's boiling it real late in the night. Don't know why he's doing it this late. Probably to get some sleepy time, you know? He was, he's having some trouble sleeping. <laughs> And then there's he looks out the window. There's a light on the house. He's upset. He's like these damn kids. He's got again. damn kids again. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna have my flashlight and I'm gonna have my keys. And in some shots, but not all the shots, I'm gonna have my cane. <laughs> I saw. I was like, oh, the poor, multiple reviewings of this. Let me tell you right now. Mm-hmm. Watched the movie twice last night. You can't remember all of it. <laughs> but you you know you're. you're oh no, but that, that's for different reasons. I still remember the movie, but from last night I don't remember the entire thing. That like that experience of watching it. But I do remember seeing that cane pop up. Like that wasn't there before. But I digress. <laughs> he's going up the stairs and he's hearing some talking. And you know who it is? It's a very it's sickly f- Voldemort. It's a fucking Peter Pettigrew from the last movie. The and Doctor. Rat. And, and Doctor, Doctor Who, Who is that? Curse. Doctor Who is that? Is David Tennant as Barty Crouch Jr. Dude, I literally screamed you. at my TV <laughs> when I saw him. I was like, ah! That's, that's right, everyone. It's everyone's favorite villain from Jessica Jones, Kilgrave. And <laughs> <laughs> I saw. Okay, okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I got notes. Got, I, okay, you keep going. I'll just tell you what I wrote down as in respect <laughs> of this entire thing. All right, so Doctor Who is that? Is him? He, there's a plan, and it requires the boy. The, uh, Who's the boy? You find out. It's, it's Harry. I know. It, it's, it's, it's the boy. It's, it's, the only boy the he only be boy talking about. The time. only boy who's responsible for him being in that position he's in right now. Who fucked his shit up as a baby. <laughs> Little baby Gohan here with rage mode when he killed the character. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he just had little like radish. He's like, eh. He just kind of shriveled and flew. How to get out the house? Who knows? But he did somehow. No, no, no. He, he, he put a whole Harry Potter once. He was like, no, but he was all shriveled. And he's like, oh, you think that's what happened after he flew away? He shriveled up into that. Oh, yeah, he's like, man, ooh, he's like shriveled. And he just like, I mean, but if you can fly as dust, wouldn't you just rather stay that form and then being the other one? But anyway, the snakes, it's like the snakes. So the so snakes past slithering. The, uh, like, oh, hey, there goes the snake again. Yep, mm-hmm, there it is. He goes past the housekeeper, go into the room, and starts speaking to Voldemort. Voldemort said, there's a human outside watching us right now. It was like, Peter Ooh. goes up to the door. He's like, let's move aside so I can get our guest. Then Avada Kedavra. Now, Collier, uh-huh. remember, there's this moment in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets that say, we're going to come back to this once we get there. We're mm-hmm. here at this moment. So... Lucius, remember when he's pissed off he lost Dobby? Mm-hmm. He takes his wand out. Uh-huh. He says, Avada! And he was like, he was about to kill a child <laughs> in a school. <laughs> that's when Dobby stops him. That's why Dobby stops him. And now we know <laughs> what the... And now, it's all coming together, man. Everything, it's all coming together. It's, yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, so now yeah. you know what that curse does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Harry's waking up from this nightmare he's having. You're like, oh, it's just a dream. Uh, Her so mind's waking him up. Yeah. Can't candle way too close to his face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I wrote down mm-hmm. opens up with a uh, freaking rat dude and new guy talking to Voldemort. And old man gets killed. Mm-hmm. That's just like, you know, just like a recap of like literally of everything that happened. Like, you know, just like to sum it up in like yeah. 10 words or less. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Uh, Harry and Ron gets woken up by Hermione. Here you had a bad name. His scar hurts. Yeah, his scar hurts. Boo-hoo. But I'll also say, mainly tell you, Candle went too fucking close to his face. Yeah. She has it like this. Like, Harry, wake up! It's like, <laughs> I need the heat to stop first. Okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> little Easter egg for you. Uh-huh. It's about the Oh, curses. Hermione? I don't... What's that? These kids are growing. Yeah, I told you. They, they grow fast. Did I say the release date of this movie? I'm not sure if I said it. I'll say it again anyway. I won't. After <laughs> I get to this. This is the first movie to not show the Dursleys. I'm not sure if you noticed that. They're, they're not yeah, happy. yeah, yeah. I was so happy. They're featured in the book in the very beginning where the Weasleys come and pick them up, which I wish I could have seen. Those Weasleys fam- come and pick them up. Family Interact. Was but, it the fucking uh, fa- uh, the Flying Corrigan? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I doubt it. No, no, I think it was actually like them just coming to the door. But anyway, uh, they are coming to pick up for the Quidditch World Cup. But this is a minute in the movie because the actress portraying the Dursleys demanded more money. So they were cut. <laughs> the movie. So they're just. So that's why it was just so. Uh, rewrite. Uh, okay, Harry spending the night with the Weasleys. That's it. So they're just as uh, you know, scummy as the. I mean, the, you want 
money for your work. I mean, that's not scummy. That's just like, hey, we've been in three of these four films. I, we need to start getting more. Like, when you get... When you're spending more time in film. Well, come back when you're a main character. Or, like, what was it? Main character? No. <laughs> come uh, back when you're the main character. What was, what was the fucking quote? Come back when you need more screen time or something. Wait. From a... No, no, it, no, it is come back when you're main character and it says R.I.P. screen time. Yeah. Or R.I.P. that character. Gene. Or like <laughs> Gene or John. <laughs> Yo, Shut what? up, Marco. Come back when you're not a disposable character. <laughs> Attack on Titan spoilers. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's uh oh. Okay. Also, the release date. I'm going to just say it one more time. If I didn't say it already, the release date, the release date of this, um, 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 November 18th, 2005. Mm, uh, close to uh, getting, getting, uh, Thanksgiving time. Yeah, it, because they moved back away from summer, so this one also took a year and a half to do. So yeah, yeah. summer gonna start taking more time in between them now. Since they're also going to high school at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. academics important and whatnot. Stay in school, kids. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? All right, where are we? All right, yep, we're waking up, Ron. We're leaving the house. Every they're, Everyone's sleeping. No one knows where they're going. Oh, mm-hmm. also, yes. at this point, the movie has, like, wastes no time mm-hmm. introducing Best Boy. Cedric Diggory? Uh-huh. Cedric Diggory. Uh-huh. Robert fucking passing himself. Goddamn dude, dude, Edward dude, from Twilight. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that the fucking vampire? Yeah, that's, this is his what? First, his first role. I know, I was like, okay. that looks like a now, younger probably. version of freaking... Now, yeah. remember, Prisoner Asking, I said, hey, there's that Quidditch seeker. He got struck by lightning. We're going to come back to him. That's him. Really? Yeah. It was oh. a different person. They recast it for this role. But yes, he, Harry is chasing the, that, the other seeker on the Hufflepuff team, uh-huh. Cedric Diggory. Cedric Diggory, a Hufflepuff. So uh-huh. that's that's what the guy who struck my light day. So it's like, man, you guys so, already yeah. So that explains his hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, freaking crazy or not, <laughs> dude looks great. Mm. And hey, the, all the girls in the freaking school love him. He's the fucking best boy. I did not expect you to like Cedric Diggory all that much. <laughs> he just no, he just popped his like <gasps> Edward, <laughs> vampire, Twilight. It's you, yeah. back in your heyday, looking so young and mm, wow, just. I'm gonna like you for some reason, but I'm sure right now. something told me, something also told me like, hey, you know what happens to like you know your self-proclaimed best boy, best girl characters in anime, right? Don't get too attached. Yeah. This ain't Game of Thrones, but yeah. be careful. Might as well be. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. So Robert Pattinson, great actor. Mm-hmm. That's bogged down with the Twilight trilogy. If I have to stay away from that. Great. Mm-hmm. Same with actually, you know what? Kristen Stewart. If the moment she learns to like stop mouth briefing and actually take her role seriously, she's great. Anywho. Uh, flying shoe to the festival. It's a call the port key. Yeah. A manky old boot, Harry called it. <laughs> yeah. And then, let me tell you, Fred and George, they stepped, they got a lot more screen time in this movie. Mike Newell must have like, I could, I could do something with these characters, and he did. Oh, the uh, twins? Yeah, Fred and George. <laughs> always talking and seeing, doing things in secret. I, 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 I know, just, just, I love it. I hate it. It's like in between. You but don't like Fred and George? I, I didn't say I didn't like them. Uh-huh, you said it, you hate it, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's like, Sometimes, like, I like them, but sometimes I hate them, too. It's like, why did you have to do that? I'm like, oh, it's not such a that, but, like, but why? But uh, it's, I'm in the middle with these two. You're in the middle of Fred and George. <laughs> Stuck in the middle with you. Anyway, so we're in the port key, and they, they don't tell anyone how it works. They say, no, all right, all right, everyone grab it. It's like, huh? What? Harry. Oh, shit. <laughs> grab it they start spinning. All right, everyone, let go. Huh? Let go. Okay, cool. They all fall to the ground, except <laughs> Arthur, Cedric, and their dad. I keep forgetting his name, Mr. Weasley. And they just kind of... Mary, they're Mary Poppins, y'all. They're yeah. just floating down. Like, oh, man. Not clear to science has done it. I would need a porky right now. We need to tie need to be clear. But anyway. <laughs> so, you just... So, what the... Every, all these tents set up. Like, all right, we're going to go to the Wizarding World Cup. Everyone, we're going to find our tent. We're going to unpack. And my question is, why need to leave so early if the tent's already set up? Yeah. But anyway, they enter the tent. And boy, and it is a you. fucking TARDIS. Uh-huh. It is bigger on the inside. <laughs> looked at it, everything. Uh, wow, this is great. Hey. Doctor Who is in here. And of course, they're going to have that freaking Doctor Who reference in here. And Harry is like, I love magic. And it's always like with a Doctor Who reference. But I digress. Uh, anyway. <laughs> moving forward. And yeah, I think, okay, that's moving on to the thing. My next, my literally my next bullet <laughs> I don't know if I was sleepy or whatever, but my next bullet is black people. 
It was just like a whole line of just like <coughs> black people well, just walking. Here's the thing: it's the Wizarding World Cup, so all the all the wizards. Now, all, it's like it's like, watching, it's like watching World Cup for soccer. So you know, yeah, so you're gonna see like it. regardless yeah. of your team made or not, which their team or not, you're you're still gonna watch it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're they're wizarding committees all over the world. Yeah, like wow, that's that's like more <coughs> black people I've seen on screen in yeah. this movie, besides the one kid in all the other Harry Potter movies. So they get into the seats, and of course, it couldn't be complete without the fucking blonde assholes to arrive. Freaking the Malfoys. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the little kid's fucking name. Draco. Draco, whatever. Not remember Draco's name. And then, uh, you know, he's like, you know, like talking shit, like, oh, like, we got the best seats in the Yeah, we're at the minister. And they're like, don't boast these people, Draco. But actually, in the book, they had just as good seats as them, but they decided to do this. Which actually, I thought. Dude, no, I, I was sitting here when they got all the way to the top, I was like, well, in a Quidditch game, wouldn't the top seats be the best seats? Yeah, that's, that's literally what I wrote. That is flying. literally what I wrote. You want to see all best the Best seats flying. in the arena. Are Just the ones that you need. I mean, maybe like, yeah, they're nosebleeds. But it's like, it's not a ground sport, so it's fine for them to be nosebleeds because you want to see where everyone's flying to. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure, like, in many of the Harry Potter things, like, the, the game's not staying within the stadium. Oh, if no, that no. If wants to fly off, you need to go see it. Yeah. So anyway, and also like get to the seats. design of the stadium was like, oh, you're standing on glass and you're looking up mm-hmm. at the glass, like you know, it's kind of transparent. You can see. So we got the teams right. Everyone got their seats. Mm-hmm. Here comes Ireland. Ireland, very stereotypical. <laughs> that's got that's just a le- uh, leprechaun, which I think I'm wondering is that something that's actually in this world, or is this still a mascot of some sort? I don't know. But yeah, mm-hmm. and it's dancing around, and then here yeah. come the Bulgarians, and they bust through. They got the red fireworks going. Yep. And yes. who is this? Who is this? Uh, muscular man on the, in the lead. That's Victor Crumb. Apparently, he's still a student, but he's the best seeker in the world. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, Harry Potter's not his chance yet, but we're going to go with he's the best seeker in the world. you get there. Soon and enough. let me tell you, he has fans. I'm not sure if you know this. It takes a lot of people to put uh, that sort of coordination into a moving photo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, me, I was thinking it was magic. Victor, fuck. I mean, listen, it's still everyone have to hold up and have the right magic. Yeah. Right? Uh, they all have to have the right one. So, whatever, man. And then, Hunting uh... Victor Crumb. The and then game we, starts, and then we, we just cut Cornelius back to the fudge. He starts the game, and here's what I'm gonna say. Quidditch still fucking bullshit, because I know some facts from the book. Ireland won. They but did. Crumb got the snitch. Which means Ireland scored more than 150 points for the wow. game. Like, so, yeah. They had to have scored so many more points to, for to like, out. Yeah. And also, I would have loved to see that game. Yeah. I mean, I was actually hyped. Like, Listen, oh, like, not- we, we had to go. We had to move, Collier. We can't stop it. I know, I know, but I, I just, just like, I don't know, three minutes. And Collier, you might have actually been able to see that game at one point in Variety. Let me find this note here real quick. In Variety? Yeah. So what's the next on my notes? Oh, uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, I got this, I got this. Don't, don't you interrupt me. Okay, we'd love to see the Martin. Oh, Martin okay. Well decided against the studio's original idea of adapting the ex- this extremely long book into two separate films. Ah. That would have been released over several months, several months apart. Okay. Fearing that he can cut enough from the book's bulky subplots to make a workable film. It was Alfonso Cuaron, the director of Harry Potter and Prison of Azkaban, who convinced him to do that. So, yeah. To, like, not cut to, to stand up against three. Like, no, we're, de- we're not going to do two parts. We're going to do a one movie. Okay. So, yeah. That's why this one, long, but a lot of stuff cut, cut out. out. Yeah, no, just too many facts. And you know what? I, I appreciate that more than people uh, doing the whole two parts movie thing because most of the times when two partners are doing like that the first one never feels complete it feels like oh that's just set up yeah like, it's not taking me on an emotional journey it's just like we're just like emotional we're just journey and here. setup no it's like it's not even that it's just here's set up and then you're going on an emotional journey later it's like well because you know what now that i think about it i think every harry potter film that i've seen so far is not necessarily ending with another setup no because the Forget uh, if they, I would have never, if I would have never known, so. if I would have never known, yeah, I wouldn't that like, there's like other books or anything. Mm-hmm. Sorcerer's Stone, oh, that would have been it. And uh, freaking Chamber of Secrets, oh, that is it. Yeah, those movies and freaking and that'd be it. Uh, what was it? Prisoner of Azkaban. No, what's, what's after? Yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, that's it. And then even with the way the Goblet of Fire, like the way it ended, just like oh, that's it. Uh, you can see something coming after that, but it's not like so directly hinged on what happened before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like as well, no, no, no. Like, after, as, after like, as opposed to Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part One and Two, where literally 
everything is like setting it, up for the second one. Yes. Oh, okay. No, actually not because this one. Now that we know that there's a return of Voldemort, like, well, we know that the Resident Evil is gonna be, you know, centering around kind of, you know, put him back where he belongs, or just like exterminating him. But the way this movie's still in is like, well, if we somehow don't <coughs> get enough uh, money to make another one, then we'll just end it right here. I mean, if, we, they, I don't know. They, we didn't knew they were going to anyway. But they, they, they knew, which is why you know it, it must have been like a really, really big risk. Like, hey, let's bring back Voldemort and let's try to I mean, take him out again. That, it's in the books too. So, well, yeah. it wasn't that big of a risk. All right, and also, <clears throat> yeah. when he first sent on to direct the film, Mike Newell explained to David Heyman, who's one of the producers, that he wanted to make a Bollywood film. While this had, had him a little bit skeptical at first, Heyman understood what he meant. There's no singing and dancing, but uh, uh, but of all the films, Goblet of Fire is the one that uses the most colors. The very color, especially so far, very colorful. Oh, yeah. I, I, the, the, like, first, the first ones are kind of like, Kind of in that kinda. middle third one, very dreary and gray. This one, very bright. They still have some of the gray and dark spots, but like, but it's but more still bright. popping colors yeah. in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's what he felt like that. Like, especially when we get, we'll get that one. We, well, like that theatrical at the Wizard World Cup. We were going to see that some more with the the Yule Ball and the Treasure Tournament. Yeah, it's just colors. So <clears throat> that's what he meant. And I appreciate. It. I like Bollywood films. <laughs> so there you go. I think I want to select one or two. So anyway. Uh, they're they're celebrating, tent, a tent celebrating and then boom, boom, crow, 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 <laughs> dumb crow, dumb crow. Dumb oh, crow. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> like what the heck? What? what? Because mm. listen, Ron, very big crumb fan. But guess what? Fucking lost. He's like a LeBron James fan, and the fucking Warriors just wrecked him again. <laughs> it happens. He's like an artist. <laughs> Yeah, they, they they did all that. And, oh man, and, and then they, like you, then, you hear all the screaming. I was like, man, the Irish got the front. Mm-hmm. Hey, like, hey, no, hey, no, hey, hey, nope, nope, not the Irish. Not the Irish. We out of here right now. Why we need to leave? And this is the clan is in town. You, you, you too. Okay, so in my notes, I got okay. Best season arena. Also, we'd love to see the. We'd see the. Literally, love to see the match. Shit goes crazy with the Wizards of the KKK. Death Eaters. So they Always just, the just I some part that they just walk did walk in. He's like Pfft. some part they didn't show like in here they're just walking through blowing stuff up and you're like I mean there are a lot of wizards here why is no one actually fighting them in the books <laughs> in the books, <laughs> books are fighting you might hear I'm not gonna do this very much but in the yeah, books they, no they have people levitated above them so you can't afford to hit them otherwise people are gonna drop to their deaths that's why no one's really uh, yeah. Cause if you fight in there and you knock someone out, it's like, okay, cool. The, the curse concentration is broken. That person is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Harry, they're like, all right, everyone, run. Harry's running and he keeps getting distracted. Why? I don't know. He just wants to look by and see what's going on. He's like, Hermione keeps yelling, Harry, let's go. And he gets he knocked gets down, knocked off, gets separated, and then the crowd, he gets kicked in the face. Let me tell you, Harry, very tramp- very lucky he doesn't get trampled alive. And he also very durable. Uh, Wakes up, everything's all burnt yeah, out, and burnt guess up. what, bitches, Dr. Who makes another one turn! He does more more day. There's, There's a fucking mark <sighs> in the air. Mark yeah. of Voldemort. The, 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 uh, dark mark, death mark, something like dark mark. Dark mark, dark mark, dark mark. No, just the skull with the snake coming out of it. Just which is one of my tattoo ideas. You know the ones they have right here. It's like I'm gonna get one. Of those yeah. Today. Yeah. Anyway, so they Ron and Hermione find him after he slightly got chased down by David Tennant, but didn't really get chased down by David Tennant. And then you get a quick clear his face, and he just fucking bounces out. Goodbye. You're not gonna see him for a very long time in the rest of this movie. Yeah. Let me tell you, man. I've got disappointed about that now, knowing who David Tennant is. I kind of wish they could fit him in more of this, but I digress. Mm-hmm. They find him around, and they, find him, and then the auras pop up, and they try stupefy. They very <laughs> easy tactic to avoid duck, <laughs> and they just all they they all luckily hit in the middle and not go past each other and stupefy each other. Yeah, <laughs> you know the lucky. What's what does that even do? What? What's what does that even do? Just like fry you or whatever? Stupefy? Yeah. No, it immobilizes you. You just freeze. Just stupefy. Yeah. yeah. I, think. I don't know. Do you stupefy? I think they sorry stupefy immobilizes they use. I think Immobilis is... Because they used it they on used the devil. On the, yeah. I'm not sure if she used Superfire Immobilis on him. I know she used Immobilis on the Pixies. But mm. anyway. 
Mr. Weezy comes up, like, hold up, those are my kids. Guys, 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 I got this. <laughs> those are my kids. And here we got fucking Barty Crouch, and he's like, which one of you conjure? It's like, this just Harry Potter. Why would he some? Why would he conjure Voldemort's symbol? That makes no sense. <laughs> like, maybe he doesn't know what symbol is. Like, come on, look at him. I mean, he's I, got the lightning scar on his head. I mean, I would have seen, like, if he had decided to do anything like that, would just, like, you know, even hurt his scar. Which one are you calling? And he's, you know, what's it like, you've been discovered the scene of the crime. It's like, I mean, so are you technically, because you're here now. Survi- <laughs> well, I discovered you're the scene of the, of the crime. crime. <laughs> At this point, technically survivors of the crime. Yeah, and apparently they didn't know, because Mr. Reader told him, yeah, it was Death Eaters. Death Eaters were here. And Harry, for once... That's a very smart thing in yourself. He tells someone what he saw. Yeah. He's like, hey, there was a man. He was over there. I didn't even look at his face, but he was that way. <laughs> and I was like, cool. We're going to go on. We're going to round go. this up. It's like, yeah, but we literally just saw you all teleport in. So can we just assume you guys can teleport out too? So nah, you can run over gonna... there and look at for him, but you're not going to find anything. Because I'm pretty sure he just bounced. Yeah. But bounced anyway. Quickly. And then cut to the <laughs> We are on the train. Chuggy, chuggy, choo, choo. And Her mind is reading the article. And she's then, like, how did they get by? They, there was no security. Wrong. There's a ton of security. We, that's what got, that's so spooked. Later on, we now realize why there was. Fucking, they had connections on the inside. <laughs> they had <laughs> yeah. fucking uh, Malfoy in there. Fuck with the governors. And then eventually, it was like, of course. They, they were there the entire time. They watched the game, had a good time. Like, all right, everyone hoods up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Time has come. And then, then, the, then uh, we got the, wait, we got the cart. And the cart eating candy, yep. and then listen, man. And I'm, then listen, sir. I'm trying to get the plot synopsis going. Okay, okay. <laughs> you got, just, just yeah. Then we got Chow Chain. Let me tell you. Enter Harry Potter's future lover. We got Chow, right? <laughs> and she ordered something. I don't know what she ordered. I forgot. I kept trying to remember it last night, but once again, not remembering much. <laughs> Does it really matter what she ordered? She ordered no, some but candy. like, it didn't, she, 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 <laughs> like I don't even know what the hell she, Ron even ordered. But Ron and I mean not Ron. Harry and her made eye contact. Yes, and then Harry makes for long eye contact. They start doing walk away, and Harry says, like, "What do you need to eat?" He's like. Oh no, I'm good. He already won some. We didn't want the way he wanted to put the old banana in the fruit salad. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. <laughs> that was the only sweet he wanted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Hermione, doing her best, try to get this plot moved along because Harry's just literally just like, all right. Sirius is going to want to hear about these dreams and yeah. what happened. Write him. Yeah. Uh, he's like, so he. <sighs> okay. <laughs> he's like, he's really like, I'm fine, Hermione. It's like, no, you're not. You've been rubbing your scar for the past five minutes. We can see you, Harry. <laughs> like, your scar's hurting again. I'm fine. He's like, come on. Bad dreams. Scar. I... Come on. Write Sirius. Okay. Write him. <laughs> Let's tell you. Yeah, he sends a letter to him. Yep. Sends Hedwig. I tell you, I like this Harry. Uh, I'm liking Harry in this film. He's he's directly falling into his own. He's some he's cracking some jokes, having some fun with it. I'm love I'm liking seeing watch him on screen. It's a great time. Rupert Grant still has a dumb face, but it's less a dumb face, but still a dumb face. But we're gonna get into why I don't like Ron <laughs> later in the film. Dude, it's anyway, a dumb face. Yeah, it is a dumb face. <coughs> we're there at Hogwarts, and there are other students arriving. Apparently, we got the Pegasus car going. Yeah, Pegasus guiding in. All right, clear the runway. And and my question is. Why what, would you... what else is on the runway? <laughs> this is the only... You have one cart to accept. You got the Pegasus here. Like, who else is on the runway? Why is there anything else on the runway? Where is your runway? Where is the geography of this school? Okay, I have more than one question here. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, mainly, what else is on this runway that you need to clear? Because there's no one Rocks. else here. I, I don't... They're horses. They, they're they're sure-footed. Should have already done this. And then we got the fucking Flying Dutchman coming up out the water. So, so... From my, fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I know. So, so my notes were uh, freaking... Okay, they go to the school for, like, the freaking tournament. Um, one by Pegasus cart and the other by a submarine ship. Yeah. Literally just come like, boop, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I mean, I guess that's how magic works. So, yeah, these two schools while freaking... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Dumbledore is announcing like, hey, this uh Are you Hogwarts... trying to interrupt my plot synopsis? Is this what's going on here with your notes? It's like you were like, nah, I'm doing it now. Is I mean this is happening here. <laughs> you're always, no, you're talking most. I wanna talk too. Like you're doing the main thing and I'm just like, you know, 
adding in, but I want to like, you know. <laughs> like, we got I mean, like, to first you were adding in. Now it's like, all right, stop everyone. Now I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying stop hammer time to me. That's what I want to know. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> so while Dumbledore is it trying to announce that uh-huh. uh, the Hogwarts is supposed to be holding the Tri Wizard con- concert. Tournament. Tournament. Whoops. This is why I do the sun. I'm <laughs> You can actually say words. But anyway, go ahead. Let's see if you can get to the scene. <laughs> I'm waited on bated breath. Waited on bated breath. Yeah. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> so he's announcing it. And he's like, okay, mm-hmm. let's uh give a warm welcome to the first school, which I can't remember because I didn't write that or no. I'm glad you, I'm glad you're interrupting me and you don't remember the names. <laughs> the Bo Batten School. The Bo Batten School. So of and girls. They, they had, of all, all girls. So they Not in the books. <laughs> Not in the books, really. In the books both are just like Hogwarts. They have both the male and female. Like actually in the in the dance, the two twins, mm-hmm. they leave for with guys with the bow battens. So yeah, but in here, bow battens is male and the Siberian one. I can't remember right now. I'm now having a brain fart. Damn you, Collier. <laughs> Victor Crone School. Okay, there we go. So when I'm gonna girls- fucking remember this name. <laughs> Hold up, I know I have it somewhere. <laughs> Anywho, when the girls come in. They were being extra, like different friends. What do you want? I I I, I wasn't expecting that. It just like came in like all oh, nice and Derm strong. Oh, okay. Derm strong. Derm strong. So they came in skipping and whatnot, and they do the. Ah. I'm like, all right, and in that moment, hey, me, every boy who was going through puberty has now been shot up there really quick. Let me tell you. They did it twice. A boy they? of thirteen years of age when this movie came uh-huh. out. Uh-huh. Loved it. <laughs> yeah. Now, as an adult male, I'm sitting here like, I'm not sure how old these girls are supposed to be, so I'm not enjoying yeah. the screen. Especially when there's just a random but shot. It's like, yeah, like, like, like Ron. Ron's enjoying himself. Me, I was like, mm, no, like, no don't, I'm not, don't, not sure no, how old these girls are supposed to be. No. Like, especially because when you're in adulthood, in, when you graduate in, a, in the Wizarding World, you're mm-hmm. 17. Yeah. So that's when you're an adult. Yeah. Not 18. Because in the movies, it's a head. You no, can't no, be... No. Yeah, 17 or You have to be able to make this decision yourself. Mm-hmm. You're responsible for yourself. Mm-hmm. Sorry, 17. Uh, and then, and then they here comes Stern Strong. And let me tell you... Wait, the, the guys? Yeah. Okay, no. Well, if we got one more thing. The, the headmaster who yeah, walks in. big lady. I saw her. And mm-hmm. like, oh, Hagrid. There you go. Cool. I, I, I just knew it. I just knew it. It's like... Also, he looks kind of familiar to me for some reason. The, you look it up in your notes? No IMDb search? It's just like, looks familiar. Okay. I, <laughs> that I wanna, was it. <laughs> I want to say she... I want to say she looks like the lady who played Dr. Evil's wife, but no, her face is different, but... I mean, I call her. Yeah. There is a way for you to figure this out. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, or ever, apparently. <laughs> You're writing notes down. It's like, all right, this is how I'm going to end up drawing on them. I'm going to have incomplete notes to do it, though. <laughs> I'm like, these notes are just pretty much for me to, like, you know, remember the scene <laughs> and, like, speak upon it in detail. All right, cool. So, yeah, here come the Durmstrongs, right? And they're marching in. They got that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, once again, oh, as dude. a boy of 13 dude, dude. years old in 2005, nothing cooler than this scene coming out. I was like, fuck yes. Yeah. Oh, let's go. And dude, it's like it sparks every time they yeah. hit the floor, but also they're like, you know. Hey, stop ruining the floors. They just it's waxed fine. it. It's fine. They'll do some magic. It's fine. And they start running down there. And then they start doing some capoeira too. And it's like, do some flips and shit. Yes, man. And then here comes Victor Crumb. And they are fucking beeline and shark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like, we are here for business and nothing more. And then they bow their wands, fire, turn into a phoenix for Dumbledore. Because, you know, yeah. him and the phoenix like connection. Yeah. There it is. Just being, you know, they be extra too, but I would prefer it's, their it's, extra. It, you... Come in, and you it, like, it's like here. We got another we're here. Enough, we're here. It's like, yeah. it's a, like, bam, it's your introduction. Yeah, then we get outside, it's raining, and there's this figure approaching. And let me tell you, oh, hey, it's if you thought uh, this movie was good so far, you're in for a fucking treat. <laughs> so, I saw that. All right, uh, so this is where the movie introduces the bad guy, right? You're right, all right, let's do it. You're right and wrong at the same time. <laughs> I know, I know what this film will keep doing. Um, so. He walks in. I thought it was David Tennant again. I was like, oh, that better be him. (laughs) Nope, but it's Mad Eye fucking Moody. He's walking in. They're about to start explaining the rules. The fucking ceiling freaks out. Probably because, you know, 
hey, there's a bad guy in the room. Yeah. But he just, something calms it down. No one upsets my friends. Like, fuck it, stupid silly. And then let me tell you, this guy, even me, they're looking at him, he takes a fucking swig. I know this. You. What do you think he's drinking? I don't know. But ain't it pumpkin juice? juice? And of course, you think, oh, he is an alcoholic. He is crow. Oh, you are right and wrong at the same yeah, time. Oh, man. Nope. Let me tell you. Hey, if you, uh, if you drink it there. It ain't pumpkin juice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is the movie's <coughs> introduction to, you know, alcoholism. All right, cool, good. Your team. Suggestive things. Suggestive things, exactly. Well, anyway, that anyway, so they're going to go to the rules. Party Crouch is like, hey, so as a ministry standing for the safety of the students, no one under the age of 17 will be Boo! Ill. That's rubbish! That's rubbish. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it's like, That's rubbish! Love and Fred and George every second of the way. They have so much more screen time in this game. I know. And like, Dumbledore says everyone, hey, shut the fuck up. Dude, I, I want the power yeah. of him like shutting the people up. It's just like, when I speak, everyone goes silent. Hey, 50 points from your house if you don't shut up. That's his power. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. And fucking melts the statue away. There's a god with a fire. Roll credits. I live in heaven. I mean, it gets to the thing that is titled pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, it, generally, they're mentioned pretty quickly. This one is like, nah, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, anyway. here's the thing that you came for. This is the Goblet Child's of Fire. Happening. You put your name in there, and you'll get chosen in, like, a week. So, everyone, just go to your classes. Now, we're cutting to the fucking Defense Against the Dark Arts class with fucking Mad Eye fucking Moody. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, this oh, is oh, oh, oh. I, uh yes. One thing that I picked up <laughs> on... When Victor walks in, I wrote down, like, all right, enter Ron's competition for Hermione. Yeah, because she wasn't saying anything before when he was, like, you know, in a Quidditch game. But uh -huh. in, like, you know, in the flesh, just walking through, it's like, hey, hey, Hermione, eyes off. Over here. He's Listen. right here. Listen, man. Stop ruining my shit. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of man right there. You don't. I'm sorry, sir. He's a torpedo. He's coming to ruin your ship. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and then right, right before the class starts, the head, or who we assume to be the headmaster of uh, Victor's school, just goes into like the room with a goblet of fire and closes the door. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Why? like, all right, so Why? this is where Harry gets his name thrown in, because we, we, the, no. the title is not called uh -uh. Harry Potter and a Goblet of Fire if Harry Potter's not going to be, you know, involved with the oh, Goblet think, of you Fire. Oh, you think he put it in there? Huh? You think he put it in there? Not necessarily. I, oh, found, out later, I found out later on. Oh, yeah, what was, no. That's why I was right and what, wrong at the same time. What my theory was, he went in there and he put a hundred Victor Crumbs in there. Like, <laughs> we're going to get him in this fucking competition. <laughs> but that's not how magic works. <laughs> I mean, how does it work, Collier? Because, well, okay, we're, we're jumping ahead right now, but you've seen the film already. Fuck it. So, uh -huh. they say the Goblet of Fire it yeah. is a binding magical contract. Yeah. That once your name comes out of it, you have to you compete. Have to, yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. But hey. What happens if you Why? Don't? Why? Yeah. Because don't say binding magical contract. I got that part. <laughs> Why do you have to compete? You don't actually have to. Just don't. Then just don't put your fucking name in the he goblet. He didn't put his name in the goblet. Someone else put his name in there. Well, the goblet just... Yo, why is it the binding magical contract with Harry? The goblet just knows I hear do great things in the competition. No, it doesn't. It, that, not, no point is to explain. And no point do they say, hey, this is what happens if you don't. It needs just a line of like... They've already done so much exposition. Like, like, if you, you want to hey, back out, then... It's going to take your magic away forever, or something. Then yeah, I understand why you want to continue going. and not like, but back out. But you're not explaining to me why this is important. Why you have to do it. Which is my one overwhelming problem with this movie. I it's love the movie. Right. It's still my favorite. But why? <laughs> why is this one thing the only thing that's not explained in this movie? I'm guessing... Uh, and no, Facebook. I've been asking this you, Yes, on weeks. Facebook. I've been asking for weeks. I, I tweeted fucking JK Rowling and she's not replied to me. I need to know... <laughs> you tweeted yes, her? Yes, I need to know. I need to understand why Harry has to compete. Because later on, they... Did you, did you look they it up They ask Google? around... Yeah, I Google. They don't... No one knows. No, she's <laughs> never... They, they... He turns to Barty later on and asks... 
well, this is up to you. And she's like, well, the rules are rules. It's like, I mean, but it's also called the Tri Wizard Tournament. So that's a rule there yeah, needs to be three. Yeah, not quad. Yeah, so it's like, you can just, like, not Harry not. And they also talk later on, later in the movie, about canceling the tournament. And it's like, that is the ultimate form of not doing it. So yeah. why can't Harry just not go? I don't know. It's still thing. Silence your phone. <laughs> it's been going off. Justin's on a tirade. It's talking silence. Oh, this is deep enough. <laughs> Anyway, we cut to defensive in some dark arts class, right? Yeah. Moody. He says an entire name, only writes Moody on the door. <laughs> this is all you need to know. This is what his personality he, and his name. <laughs> why am I here? Dark arts wizard. Don't look over to come. Okay, number, that's it. Goodbye. Nah. <laughs> Mr. Good Mashi's now content, which means rebel. He's not exactly on the rules with them. He's half the reason that the Azkaban is full, apparently. Well, not half the reason, but... Reason for half of it being full, which is, well, I guess, kind of both the same. Mm-hmm. Um, Dumbledore asked him to be here. That's it. In the story, goodbye, the end. Any questions? Nope. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm loving this class already. Yeah, me too. But I'm like, still kind of, they, eh, he's like, about listen, him. we can talk about theory of it all right now, but I believe different. I believe you need to know what to see what you need to defend your girls against. I mean, you need to know up You need to find a better place to put your gum, Mr. Finnegan, who is shameless the way he's blowing shit up. Mm-hmm. So he's still in these movies. Still. Yeah. He's still there. I didn't know he was in it for these long. Apparently he's still in it. Dude, he can see about Yeah, the eye can actually see through him. Yeah. So he's like, he's seen the back of his head. And here across classrooms. <laughs> love it I'm loving this like <laughs> damn so yeah they're going with the three unforgivable curses why because they're unforgivable any one of them will get you a one way ticket to Azkaban Azkaban yes I, I, so, love, I like, love the way how you said that I'm like I, I think I rewind it and just like watch it like five times yes. so he's going to do, he's going to perform the first one he asks Ron Ron says um, it's the, Imper- the uh, Imperial curse which is a control curse Yeah. he's like oh yeah your dad would know all about that one I'm going to show you all why Takes out a little bug, and let me tell you this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, I, okay, I was gonna say, like, Jelana's not gonna like it, but I it's not I, a spider. I don't mind it as much. It's like, it's, it's chill a scorpion, I know. They're still arachnids, but it's like, it's still, still a scorpion. Yeah, yeah, it's still a scorpion. But like, like that's no, Engorgio, no. makes a girl, the Imperial. Engorgio. 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 Imperio, and he starts floating around the classroom, and then you know it's all like, it's, oh, it's a good time. It's like the last one. It's like good times, good times, good times. It's like, wish I ever do that. Jump out the window. Drown herself, and then he got is like, yeah. Oh, this is what he's just like. Yeah, it's all fun and games until yeah, until like, like you know like, the potential of what this curse can do. Like, oh yeah, you can like control them and whatnot, but you can control them. Yeah, like, walk so, off a cliff, let it go. Oh, you have them just drop them. into a lake. Can they swim? <laughs> we'll find out. And they said a lot of people during the dark times who did you know who's bidding, and they're saying they were under the uh, imperious, imperious curse. Like mm-hmm. How do you sort out the truth tellers from the liars? You mean we get into the next one? Goes to Neville. It's the next mm-hmm. one. Because she had a curse. <laughs> Neville will know all about that one too. But we'll get to that later. Um, and he starts torturing the, uh, the little thing in front of him. Neville's yes. not. Ha- he's freaking out. Hermione oh. stops him. Like, hey, he's not feeling well. Clearly, he's not responding. Well. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, that scene. At first, I was thinking like the torture on the uh, the little bug mm-hmm. was being reflected on Neville. So like, oh, yeah, the bug was feeling. He was feeling too, but no. just like got a minor scare, but no, never was just like, you know, not having it. No, he was uh, remembering his parents. Oh. Yeah. His parents, uh, the same night Harry was, uh, uh, uh when, parents, when, parents were this whole stuff. Yes. So, uh, he who shall uh, be named. No, 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 no. It was, uh, Friday Crouch Jr. and, uh, Bellatrix of Strange, who went and tortured his parents with the Cruciatus curse to the point where they went insane. Oh. They, they're trying to get information on them and they never gave it up. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, so his parents are, are like... Crazy, which not... is why he lives with his grandma. Oh. Which oh. is why he did not respond well to that because he was a baby. He could probably still just have flashbacks to remember that sort of shit. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, this is Neville, right? He's the fun, goofy character, huh? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wait. Next. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> like the brightest and curious of characters who have like the darkest past and ooh boy whew yeah also bugs don't make sounds why is it squeaking uh, they need they, uh, they've also like well 
you need to kind of hear it scream in pain too because no, like, no, I'm like, even when it's like you know be like Livioso this like doesn't so make sounds but that could remind little actually that bug makes sounds crazy makes sounds all the time yeah but like not that one for sure I mean you don't know that it's a magic one it's a magic bug of course you'll give it lungs <laughs> yeah yeah it's so sweet okay yeah anyway so and next then one. the last but not like, least and Hermione refuses to say it alright cool Okay, so and that's okay. I didn't hear that curse the first time in the movie. Yeah. So when he said it again, I was like, oh, "That's that's the that's the yeah, I, yeah." Something. Wait, hold on. What I read in my notes about a cadaver, I put that on all caps and said, "Something tells me I'm gonna be seeing those curses again later yeah, on in the movie." Spelled it wrong, but yeah. But I, I knew <laughs> no K in there at all. That's weird. I bought a cadaver, and like, ooh, okay. So that's the, the killing uh, curse. Yeah. Only kill. one person is known to have survived it. Ooh, and I he's wonder. Sitting in this room. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. No, the moment he said like the only one person known to survive it, I'm like, I bet you freaking, I don't know, all the goblins' money in the freaking banks since the first mm-hmm. movie that everyone's gonna like, you know, point to Harry Potter. I mean, it, because it is Harry Potter. Yeah, but before he even said like he's in this room. Yeah. Then he just uh goes up to him. Harry just looks up and like. He didn't go up to him. He just looks from Hermione's desk. He's sitting in this room. And then he goes up and he's like. Ah. Harry goes up to him and I'm like. Uh, and then he does a tick there. Yeah. Which you don't notice until like going back and he's like, there it is. Yeah. Maybe that's why he started drinking more the more the uh, pumpkin juice. Yeah, the pumpkin juice. Wink. Apologies, <laughs> <laughs> juice potion. We know what it is. Anyway. Wink, wink, hint, hint. So next scene. So what they're, uh, uh, let me oh, tell yeah, you, they the movie moves, but we don't. <coughs> what? The, the yeah, they're going to go with the fire. I know. I got this. Okay. No, they're just people don't put their names in. Ron's sitting there like, man, I want to. And Harry's like, fuck, I don't give a damn. You do whatever you want. <laughs> like, I don't want any of this. And then enter, the, to, and then enter the Weasley twins. Here come George and fucking Fred. Yeah, people's clapping. And we're like, yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they clapping and stuff. I'm like, well, well, they, are they, they going to put their they, names in? Or like, I don't, I don't, I don't I didn't they think they were three out of eight, they did an aging potion. Because yeah, I, I believe they are 16. And not 17. So they're close, but they can't but, do it. But no dice. Like, their next year is their last year, and then they can't do it anymore. Yeah. So they're like, that's why they say, bullshit, that's rubbish. You should let us come Because, like, they're never going to get this chance again. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, that's not their fault. It's the year they were born. And it should be born. Yeah, we, we got it. We conjured up this morning <laughs> some aging potion, and yeah. then Hermione's She's like, like, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. And then they just, they just both just, like. Ready, get, Ready George. Bottom bottoms up. up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they are like, all right, and then yeah, yeah. and then I was saying, nope, nope. Adrienne coming like, oh, okay, you're doing bullshit here. You and said, then, you said, and then all right, hold fight, up here. fight, 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 and then enter Ron's competition yet again. The Wait, freaking room just goes hold on. dead I, silent. I had an Easter egg. Oh, Victor coming from the room. The entire room goes. It is, that's the only reason why Victor Crum has entered. Where is it? I had it here somewhere. Mike Newell here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so Mike Newell staged a brawl with one of the Weasley twins to demonstrate what he wanted for the scene of when they were fighting on the ground to be. Okay. Did they get it right? It, uh, well, hold up. It was also, and also to undermine his authority figure status. Quote, they were calling me sir. <laughs> so he's like, no, don't do that. I was like, he wanted to be one of the boys, and they are calling him like sir, and it's like, all right, now we got to do this. <laughs> And the, the fight got so intense that he fractured a rib in the process. Wow. <laughs> I was going through fractures. I was like, sure, I'm putting that one in. I want to do that one. Like, he went, he's like, no, they're calling me sir. I don't like it. I need to undermine my own authority here. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> so, yeah, Victor Crumb walks in the room, puts his name in a flame that's 101.
Thank you for joining us in this video. If you want to find us online, you can always find me with one name on all platforms, Creator Zargator. You can find Isaiah at... On Instagram and Twitter at Isaiah Pitcher and Jelani at... Jelani underscore P on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And of course, follow Fighting Wombat on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Stardust, and Patreon. $1 tier for poll access, $5 tier for early access, and $10 for full and exclusive access. And links to all this will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications when our new videos are up. And we see you guys in the next video, but in the meantime, stay awesome.